Welcome to the IBM Maximo Anywhere installation course. In this series of videos, we are going to walk through an installation of Maximo Anywhere 762 using an IBM DB2 database and an Android mobile device. Before installing Maximo Anywhere, you should verify that you have an operational Maximo 76 asset management system installed that is running and accessible. Throughout this series of videos, I will refer to the Maximo Admin Workstation. The Maximo Admin Workstation is the machine that contains and manages the corresponding C, IBM, SMP directory structure for your Maximo environment. There are a number of deployment topologies that can be used when installing Maximo Anywhere and the mobile first server. In the instance that I am going through today, I will use a single server deployment where Maximo Anywhere and mobile first server are installed on the same computer. This is designated as the mobile first server. My existing Maximo 7.6 environment on my admin workstation is running Windows 2012 server, Oracle 12C database and WebSphere. In videos 2 and 3 we will cover Maximo Anywhere prerequisites and some administration tasks. Videos 4 through 6 will cover the overview and installation of the required components on the computer where Maximo Asset Management is installed. In video 7, we will cover installing our middleware, WebSphere 8.5.5 Liberty Profile on our mobile first server. Videos 8 and 9 will cover installing the mobile first server itself. Video 10 will cover installing Maximo Anywhere 762. In video 11, we will create a runtime environment on the mobile first server. And in video 12, we will cover some administration tasks for security authentication. In our final video, in number 13, we will download an IBM Maximo or Anywhere application from the Google Play Store and connect it to our Maximo Anywhere environment. By the end of this course, you will know how to perform an installation of IBM Maximo Anywhere, how to configure authentication methods for the platform, and how to connect an Android mobile device to the IBM Mobile First platform.